messing with some angry bees today. These girls are just freaking evil right now. Hopefully I can calm them down with what I'm about to do a little bit, hopefully. I'm already in a suit immediately. As soon as I got out of the truck, they were ready to kill me. Is this thing not gonna function? Why aren't you recording? I don't know what's going on with this camera now. Whatever, we'll just have to use a GoPro. But we are definitely firing up the smoker. I'm using uh, just regular little wood chips off of uh, some lumber that I ran through the auto planer. Nothing special, just basically free waste material that I can use to shut off their ability to communicate. That's basically all that smoke does. It does not calm the bees down. If anybody tells you smoke calms the bees down, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. It actually pisses them off, but it um, the little particles of smoke will block off their pheromone receptors and vastly diminish their ability to talk to each other and coordinate an attack. And that is the point of smoke. Anybody that says otherwise, again, does not know what the hell they're talking about. I like to get the very bottom wood chips nice and hot and then I stuff it full and what I'm going to do with these bees is basically just give them some space because they are honey bound right now Meaning every bit of space they have inside that hive is full up with comb and resources and brood. And when that happens, a honeybee colony switches to defend the hive mode. And there aren't as many out foraging as there are hanging around here as guard bees and defenders. And being that their genetics are uh, almost 100% for sure Africanized, um, that, that can present a little bit of a problem. Because Africanized bees tend to be a little bit more apt to attack and sting. And uh, they build numbers quite prolifically tons and tons of brood and they'll usually have a higher population than most of your domesticated gentle lab bred kind of colonies. And we're just going to kind of area fog here while this is heating up.
this hive is pretty jacked up um, when I got to it. Um, it had been sitting on um, like some kind of like concrete um, animal trough and one side of it and it was kind of long and about yay wide and four feet or so long and one side of it had collapsed and it was laying down in like a I don't know 35 or 45 degree angle and the brood box was shifted about yay far off of the bottom board and then the medium super was shifted about the same amount of distance off the top of the brood chamber uh, so they were just had openings all over this thing it's kind of a miracle they survived. I guess that's a testament of the tenacity and meanness of, uh, of the genetics. Busy bees. Welcome to South Texas beekeeping. It is not like North Georgia beekeeping, I'll tell you what. Harvest that super here pretty soon.
if I weren't in a suit, full suit like I am, and happened by this colony out in the wild, where kind of where they were, and bumped it or hit this hit a stick just the wrong way, mm. one is in my veil. Yeah, I'd, I'd already be dead. This is my only really aggressive strategy. The other three hives are actually really chilled out. Texas wild bees at this point just the Africanized gene it ain't no joke and you got to be prepared for this even if you're dealing with um, commercial colonies that come from a lab lab bred to be docile and what they call domesticated There's no such thing as domesticated bees they're all, it's a wild creature, so, but uh, when the queen is superseded, if she goes out and mates with drones from a colony like this, 
This is how her brood is going to be. And it can happen without warning. under them so you can learn all the ins and outs because there is so much there is so much you need to know come on my wood chips work for a while they get too hot and they don't make smoke anymore but that's all right that's basically the gist of it just adding that box to give them a little bit more room and hopefully they'll get to work doing that and and not be quite so aggressive. They've been completely honey bound for probably a year. That box was completely full when uh, I brought it over to where it's at now. And when bees run out of space to put you know, resources and make more brood, they can tend to go into this mode. Just defend the hive mode. Kill anything that gets too close. They're definitely trying. <laughs> Thank you all for watching.